Hey guys, welcome back. A couple months ago, I made Chinese pancake with a rising dough. There are all kinds of Chinese pancakes in China. We call all them bing in Chinese. Today, I will introduce a new kind of bing which doesn't require yeast. It's very similar to tortilla, but there's no fat in the recipe. How to make them super soft without adding fat? Come on, check it out. You need only three ingredients to make a great bean. All-purpose flour, salt, and boiling water. Let's start with the dough. Add the salt into flour and mix them a little bit. Then add the boiling water little by little. At the same time, mix the water with the flour. Here, boiling water is the key to make nice soft dough. Add water slowly so the texture can be more even. When the dough is not too hot, form them into a big dough. Let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Then come back to knead it for about 1 minute. It gets smooth very fast. Let the dough rest for another 10 to 20 minutes. About 20 minutes later, take out the dough. Form it into a strip and separate it into 8 small dough. Knead the small dough into little balls. Cover them so they don't get dry. Then, use a rolling pin to roll them into palm-sized square one by one. The gluten can be pretty strong, so we will let it rest while we roll the other 7 dough balls. When you are done with all 8 dough balls, the first square dough will be much easier to work. Apply some flour so they won't stick together. Before rolling them bigger, Heat up a pan with medium-high heat and apply a very thin layer of oil. Then take the first dough and roll it bigger. Roll it into 1 to 2 mm thin big square. You can roll it into a circular shape if you like. As you can see, the dough is very stretchy and strong. When it looks like this, it's ready to cook. Transfer the dough into the pan when the pan is hot. Cook with medium-high heat. Then you can see some small bubbles like this. Flip it. While cooking this one, you can go roll another small dough into a big one. Haha, <laughs> look the dough is dancing. When both sides are cooked, you can see all the little golden brown spots. It's ready. Take it out and cook the next one. Cook all of them this way. Set all cooked beans into a big bowl and cover with a lid or clean towel. The remaining heat and the steam will make them softer. So here they are. As you can see, they are very soft. I really enjoy fresh cooked bean. Just like fresh baked bread. It's warm, soft, and chewy with very nice wheat flavor. Here, let me share an easy way to enjoy it. I like to stir fry some potato. It's super simple. Just heat up some oil, add in red pepper powder, garlic and green bell pepper or spicy pepper, or any pepper you like. Or no pepper at all. 
Cook a little bit, then add in some tomato paste to form a complex flavor. Then add in shredded red potato. Cook with medium high or high heat. Add in some soy sauce. Mix well. Some salt. More soy sauce if needed. <laughs> Cook until the potato turns clear. Add in some rice vinegar at the end. Mix well and it's ready. Red potato is best for this since it has less starch, so it's less sticky and more crispy. Take a piece of a bean. Apply the potato we just cooked. Then roll it up. It's so simple but super tasty. I love it. Hope you like it too. This is today's video. Please hit the subscribe and like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.